Okay, what delights have we got for you today? Um, as a lot of you know, you've seen the videos, you've heard me banging on about it on social media. I've had now for 18 months the um, Chinese made eight band micro SDX HF transceiver. Uh, it's worked very, very well. I've worked uh, quite a chunk of Europe with it. Um, the USSR stroke Russia, whatever you want to call it nowadays. I'm sorry, I was old school then. I went all old school on it. But anyway, I, I've even worked Canada with three watts. Uh, that was just last week. I was very pleased with that. But uh, the other day, someone was selling um, a brand new, never used it, um, the Micro SDX Plus. Um, it was a reasonable price. And I thought to myself, well, why not? You know, let's help the bloke out. He needed to sell it. And um, I'm game for, you know, any old junk from anyone, anywhere, generally. But all, all joking aside, um, he's never actually used it, apart from receiving. And uh, so, therefore, the settings have not been set up. And one thing about these um, transceivers is they do need setting up out of the box. If you just switch them on, plug them in, and, and go for it, you'll, you'll probably find that it will stop working in short order. And uh, that was always a common uh, thing about these. You know, people say, yeah, I bought one of these and it only lasted 10 minutes, piece of junk. Well, it's because, you know, they did what I just said. So I, I have done a video on this, how to set the settings in uh, one of these radios. But because this one's uh, new, it only arrived yesterday. Um, I thought we'd give it a go. I'd go through the settings. These are my settings, okay? These are my settings for my situation. Um, it's not going to work for everyone. So just be aware of that. You know, you're not going to get, you know, like um, uh, exactly the same results. Um, what we'll do as well, we'll try and do, um, we'll try and do a contact on 40 metres. And that way uh, we can see if it works. And I can actually prove whether I've bought a duffer you know okay so uh, we, we power this one up and this one unlike this one this one's actually got an on off switch on the back all right that will be me not switching it on on right so first off by default you're always on uh, 40 meters and this one was set to um, the FT8 frequency, which is very annoying. Now then, let's get some uh, let's get some contrast on this one because uh, you won't be able to see what's going on. Okay, right. Let me see if I can just uh, tilt that forward slightly. I've got my homemade um, stand made out of an old TV bracket wall bracket I've, i think i've shown that as well but anyway so there we go so yeah we've switched it on uh you can see the buttons are slightly different um yeah the, the connections are slightly different uh front and back but essentially it's the same rig and i think this one's got a built-in battery but the battery is um well it's not charged up if there's a battery in it uh, I'll, I'll have to try that one out later as i say you know the bloke wanted to sell a bunch of gear and this, when I made him an offer, it was a very reasonable offer. And, uh, you know, that, that's the way I roll, I suppose. So the first thing you want to do, you press menu. And that will take you into the menu, volume. Right. Uh, you press menu again. Let's back the volume off to about nine. That's reasonable. Okay. Press menu again takes you out of it the other way to you you can change the menu uh, if it's the same as the old one you press the encoder and twist so you can actually do it on the fly without having to go into um, this is going to keep coming out of um, contrast i think every time i put my hand in front of it but we'll, we'll go we'll go with it you, you'll know what's going on it, it, yeah this uh, Concentrate on the screen of that one. So anyway, waffling on. Press menu. We're in volume, which is 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, we go up. You've got LSB, so you can check LSB, CW, 
USB. You can also do with that from the mode switch. The mode switch doesn't exist on this one, but uh, from the mode switch, you can also do that. Um, right, the filter. Filter. Um, now, what do I have the filter left on full? Full is default. So, full is default for the filter BW. Um, I'll go through later. Uh, what the actual you know what what they do etc but i leave the filter on full but you can you can press the encoder and you can see you can you can change basically the the receive filters so it's a dsp you know if you if you're used to dsp on a radio i've always left mine on full not something i played about with I should do, I suppose, probably give me a slightly better receive, but you know, my ears are old man's ears and they don't, they don't hear, they don't hear properly anyway. So, okay, so uh, the next, the next menu, there's your bands, 1.4 is your bands, so 40 meters, etc. Now, what you can do, um, if you come out of that, and you can, by double-clicking, should change bands. There we go. So that's another shortcut. So what I'm doing there is double-clicking the encoder, and it changes bands. A 60-meter band, and back to the 40-meter band. Okay. So menu so we're on the 40 meter band uh tune rate one kilohertz i normally set the tune rate to 500 hertz especially for places like 40 meters where everyone's in between um actual frequencies you know like uh, the tens so um if we if we can click on that and i go to 500 um hertz having said that if you look here there should be a cursor underneath you can see the it's underneath the comma at the moment and if you tune you can see we're we're tuning in 500 hertz steps is that coming up because every time i put my fingers there all right you can see there go ft8 let's get rid of that but the other thing you can do, press the encoder once, and you can see now that the cursor has actually stepped. So now we're in 100 hertz steps, or we can go to 10 hertz steps for really fine tuning. Or you can go the other end, and you can go in megahertz steps. But when you're out of band... You know, it, 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 you, you can use it for broadcast, etc. Okay, so let's get back to 500 hertz steps because that's where I like it. Okay, the next menu. So that was 1.5, the tune rate, but you can, as I say, do it from a shortcut. Okay, let's... VFO mode, so you've got VFO, A and B. I think it's quite self-explanatory. RIT self explanatory it's for uh, receive incremental tuning so you know you can tune the receive and um, leave the uh, transmit where it is um AGC okay now on this one down here i've always had the AGC switched off but what will happen is you'll have um obviously on on loud transmissions or loud reception it will be loud and when the uh, qsb drops the signal it will go quiet um i got used to altering the volume control uh, to sort of manually be um a, a gain control but agc is set to fast uh, you know you've got the usual there if we go in there you can see we've we've got fast we've got slow and we've got off so let's leave it on fast. We might as well. Okay. So the AGC is set to fast. The next menu is um, NR, you know, your uh, noise reduction. I'll leave it on zero for now, but you can alter that. 
attenuator well that will be your receive attenuator i believe as opposed to transmit attenuator which is, is obviously power but you know i leave it at zero same for attenuator to s meter right they come as stock as dbm i prefer to have s because we all understand s don't we even though it's it's a relative um a measurement okay and okay a cw decoder well we all know about these cw decoders you get lots of letter e's and lots of letter t's unless the volume is spot on and your signal's good leave it on you know it makes no difference i don't do cw so although i leave it on sometimes i like to listen but um yeah a little bit of a cheat there CW tone by default is 600 hertz. A semi QSK. Well, I don't need um, I don't need um, semi brakes or anything like that because what well, I'm not using CW, so I leave it off. Um, Kia speed, I think default 25. That will be for a paddle Kias. So you've got Kia type straight, Kia swap, etc. Practice. Well, I'm not going to practice CW at this time. The tone volume. Default is 12, we'll leave it at that. The Vox, well, that's your voice-activated microphone. I'll leave that off. Noise gate, okay. The noise gate, um, my one, by default it's four. My one, I set to zero. I found that gave me the best result. Okay, so that's menu 3.2 is your noise gate. Okay. Okay, the next one. 3.2 this one is is important tx drive now this is class e amplification it's very very efficient but you can't abuse it it will pop the outputs by default it's four my one i found the best results now yeah i got when i very first got my one and I plugged it in, as you do, and nothing works properly. I was getting reception reports of, you sound terrible, blah, blah, blah. TX drive. Back off the TX drive. Now, I've got mine set to two. It's most likely going to be okay for this one, but not for definite. Okay, so 3.3 TX drive. Very important. Don't whack it up to maximum and then expect your transmission to be putting out 10 watts and everyone hearing you unky dory. No, no, and no. It uh, you know, you know, just big numbers don't mean big power, etc. These are QRP rigs, they're not designed to put out eight watts or anything like that. You know, if you're getting four watts, be very, very, very happy. Okay. So that was your TX drive. I think uh, that's an important one. The next two uh, will become important, but we'll get to them in a second. So the next menu is TX delay by default zero. CQ interval. This is all to do with CW, CQ message. That is one of the designers, PE1, NNN. Uh, the other one is Manuel, DL2, MAN. But uh, you would put, obviously, if you're sending a CQ message, you put your own call sign in there. That's in 4.2. Um, this one, important. 8 decimal 1, 8.1. 1, PA bias minimum. Now, you will juggle with these. Um, this one, I set my last one. If I recall, it was to 20 or 25. So, by default, it's right at the minimum. So, oh, PA bias minimum. Let's go in there. Let's set it to 20. <clears throat> that will do. Okay, that's 8.1 BA, a PA bias minimum. Set it to 20 to start with. You can juggle afterwards. The next one, equally important, PA bias max. Now, you don't have to have it at maximum it's uh you know 140 you'll probably kill the outputs so what i do is i think i've got my one set oh. pa bias max i think my one is set to 120 
might be 125. Let's set it to 120. We can go from there. Okay. So, 8.2 PA bias maximum. Set it to 120. Right, this one here, 8.3 reference frequency. Okay. Now, I know that number to some people is going to look familiar, but it is just a coincidence. But that's your, your clock frequency. So when someone says, you know, say you're on 7.100 in the 40 meter band, and someone says, yeah, you're a little bit off frequency, mate. And then you change frequency, and then he follows you and says, I know you're still off frequency. It's because you need to change it in here. By default, it's uh, 27, I think, is that megahertz? 27 megahertz. Um, my one, on my last one, that was absolutely fine. It was spot on. I've never had a problem with uh, people telling me I'm off frequency. But they can do with a little bit of a tweak. If someone's consistently telling you you're off frequency, then um, just alter the clock frequency. Use an external frequency counter, an accurate one, and uh, you can set it without people telling you're off frequency. So that will be your reference frequency on um, um, 8.3. And then... Uh, so on so through the memory iq phase 90 is default i left it there the backlight is on leave it there and that is it there you go there's your your 10 uh, or rather 1 to 10 or 1.1 to 10.0 in in uh, your menus so uh, hopefully that gives you um an idea now if we come out of that and let's find a frequency or someone calling CQ now I have got a tuner here and the tuner is currently set to the 60 meter band so I need to set let's find a, a frequency that's free All right set me inductor I have no idea what that is. Um, and then uh, I'm going for maximum noise. We set the mode. CW. As you can see, lots of staff characters there because it's only hearing noise. And how about that? Four watts. Four watts on um, 40 meters. Oh, come on. Right, let's try that again. It is locking up. That's not me. It's locking itself up. There we go. So, a four watts. Spot on four watts. And when I say spot on four watts, 